are you mad? Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It is Nianjin Sue, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this soft glam, this everyday flawless makeup for glasses wearers. I have some tips and tricks for you guys to keep your makeup lasting all day, even when you are wearing glasses. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think of my makeup look. I'm definitely giving housewife, like my husband owns a yacht. We have three beach houses in the Hamptons and we're going to Aspen next month with the kids. <laughs> so yes, you guys, let's get into this makeup. Even with the glasses, it's still giving baddie. Like, I just, I can't get over it. All right, guys, so right now I am makeup free. My eyebrows look crazy. I'm getting them threaded tomorrow. Like, it's been a long time coming. I don't know, like I've been like trying to just grow them out a little bit more because I've been getting them threaded since I was like 14. So like sometimes it could like thin them out, but they're definitely due for threading. But anyways, that's not what we're here for. So we're gonna start off with primer. We are starting off with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Since we are going to be wearing glasses, we definitely want our makeup to last all day. Especially if you're going to be wearing your glasses all day. You want your makeup to stay. You want your makeup to last. So you definitely want to apply primer all over your face. And maybe even go in a second time around your nose bridge. and definitely going in a second time around this area and your eyes too but more specifically your nose bridge area and with this primer i like to let it sit um for like a couple of minutes like one to two minutes okay so next up is brows i love precisely my brow um eyebrow pencil by benefit i don't know like i just feel like it just works so well with my brows and it just like lasts the whole day i really love the formula the consistency here's the pencil up close this is like my go-to so you guys you guys probably are like oh my god is that the only brow product she uses yes <laughs> i just this is like my go-to so i'm just gonna fill in my brows um by lining the bottom of them that's usually how i you know start my eyebrow process and i'm just following the outline but it's kind of hard because like i said i need to get my eyebrows done so this might take a minute <laughs> And I'm just gonna brush in the product. Both brows are filled in. I am going to conceal only the bottom using, of course, my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is another holy grail of mine, so you guys have seen me use this in a bunch of other videos also. Like, I don't know I just feel like I've tried so much makeup over the years that like when I find something that I really like I just stick with it I don't know does anyone else do that like let me know in the comments because finding good makeup is hard these days because everybody has a makeup line no shade but shade all right so I'm just filling in the bottom of my brows brows are concealed so now i am going to go in with my foundation i'm using the nars um light reflecting foundation um i'm starting to like it at first i wasn't like the biggest fan but now like i'm like okay it's like not that bad so i usually just shake it up before i apply it i would say if you're gonna wear glasses try like a matte or semi matte foundation i wouldn't particularly go for one that gives like a glowy or dewy finish because that's just gonna make your face oilier than what it is 
and your makeup is definitely coming off like around your nose area so like those moments when you take your glasses off during the day to clean them people are gonna be like girl what is going on so i would suggest a foundation like this this is like low-key like in the middle like it's matte but then it's not so I would go with like a foundation like this or just like an overall matte foundation. So I'm just going to blend this out with my damp beauty blender. Trick is that just really like helps with that ultimate like beat is to use a beauty blender right and then use a foundation brush after you've applied your foundation to just tap it in some more. I find that doing that just like really just sets the foundation off like it looks so good. And I'm also blending the concealer I did underneath my eyebrow. Now to highlight, you know, conceal, whatever, I'm going in with my Born This Way Too Faced um, Concealer. I I don't know, you guys. These concealers are bomb. I don't know. I love NARS, but then I love Too Faced, but then it's like, I don't know. They're both, like, pretty good. So I'm just going to do, like, a light highlight under my eye. And I love, like, the look this gives me when I use this with the Huda Beauty um, setting powder that I'm going to be using in a few minutes. It just looks so bomb. Like, I don't know. So, we're just going to highlight underneath the eyes. I'm going to put some setting powder over this. So, I'm going with my Huda Beauty setting powder. And I just love the look this gives me, like I said before. Um, I think that the concealer with this setting powder is like a really bomb combo. I'm just going to put this basically where I use the concealer. And I'm also going to put it along my nose bridge because it will just help with no smudging. So I just put it where I concealed. Definitely gotta get the creases under your eyes. Nose bridge. I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I had to get the lighter shade. So it only comes in like two shades. I bought the medium dark a few months ago. And I guess because, you know, we're in March, I get super light for some reason. So I had to get the lighter one. And I don't know why I didn't get this in the beginning to begin with. But it definitely is not as dark as the medium dark one. So I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to put it like underneath my cheekbones and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to put some here, put a little bit here. And I actually like this color. I think this color just suits me better. The medium dark is too dark for me now. So, and I just love how beautifully the Charlotte Tilbury just like contours. Um, it just blends out like really nicely and we love that. Oh, now it's time for eyes. I'm going to use um, false lashes with this look, but I definitely recommend that you girls wear like short lashes. Don't wear the 50 millimeter mink, Siberian mink lashes because it's going to be rubbing on your glasses all day and I'm sure that's not comfortable at all. So I would definitely suggest like either just wearing mascara or you could do like a short like natural false lash. Um, just for more like comfortability prepping my eyes for my lashes I'm going with my Mac stack mascara this mascara is really bomb believe the hype definitely believe the hype with this mascara and just look at this mascara you guys like if you guys don't have this mascara you need to get it ASAP like it just makes your lashes look so bomb I'm obsessed with it so for lashes i am going to be using these lashes i got from amazon i get all my false lashes from amazon like you guys amazon is the plug 
so these are the lashes super natural looking and they're giving like eyelash extensions that's always a look i go for when i shop on amazon and i think these are perfect for wearing glasses definitely you know natural but still gives like glam and these are them up close super pretty all right so this part is optional if you want to add like a little razzle dazzle to your eyes they say black eyeliner like makes your eyes stand out more so i'm gonna do that so i'm using my mac um technical eyeliner and this is it and i'm just gonna go like um on my waterline lightly and um underneath my lash line i guess that'd be and it's like a subtle difference because like i said earlier like it just because you're wearing glasses doesn't mean you have to like you know not do anything fun to your eyes you could do like eyeshadow and wing liners and you know different color eyeliners as well Alrighty, so now I'm going back in with my Mac Sack Mascara for my bottom lashes. So to set my contour, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzing powder. And I just like to do like a light tap because it is very pigmented and we did use um, a liquid contour. now it's time for lips so i love nudes you guys know like i love nudes so we're gonna do like one of my fave nude lip combos so that is chestnut lip liner and i'm not gonna overline my lips i'm just gonna line them I'm going in with my MAC Amplify Cream Lipstick in the color Blankety and using my Buxom Lip Gloss and it's just so pretty. This is cute, yes. So we are almost done. Now blush. I am going to mix two blushes so I have my MAC blush. This is um, Flower Power. And this is NARS um, Orgasm. So I think I'm gonna go in with the MAC first. And it's like a hint, like it's nothing really crazy, but that's why we're gonna put the NARS on top of it. all right and we are almost done i cannot stress enough how important setting spray is so you definitely want to use a really good setting spray i definitely recommend this mac fix it setting spray this will have your makeup lasting for hours um but if you can't get a hold of this i would suggest the urban decay um all-nighter that one is really good as well i need to get another one of these so i'm just gonna shake it up and spray so i strongly suggest that you just let your setting spray sit for like you know like a minute or two and then you can put on your glasses all right guys so let's see what she's giving oh i'm giving housewife right now like housewife definitely soft life housewife all that good stuff these this makeup look is super bomb i think it's like perfect for like every day when you want to do like a glam a full beat 
um, I would definitely do this. Make sure that you use, of course, your setting powder and your setting spray. Those are going to be your best friends so you don't have any smudging. I would definitely suggest doing that. Just invest in like a really good setting powder. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this soft glam beat for glasses wearers. So yes, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. You know, I had to give my baddies that wear glasses, you know, a soft glam look and give y'all some tips and tricks to keep your makeup lasting all day and smudge free. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.